Here's one how-to, bit of advice we hope you'll never, ever need. How to free yourself if you're bitten by an anaconda. These scientists are trying to capture an anaconda in Venezuela so they can study it. Unfortunately, the anaconda, a snake so big that the larger ones can swallow a human being in one gulp, sees this as an invasion of its space. Very bad for one particular scientist. Let go, let go, let go, let go. Give me room. The anaconda has sunk its fangs into the scientist's hand. Okay, now here's the advice part of this video. If this happens to you, do not, repeat, do not yank your hand away. Push your finger forward, okay? The teeth of an anaconda curve backwards to hold its prey once it bites into it. That's why the scientist has to force his hand deeper into the mouth of the anaconda to free his skewered finger. Fingers. Start back a little bit. The bite of an anaconda is not venomous. This snake is a member of the boa constrictor family and kills its victims by squeezing them to death. Still, getting your finger impaled on one of its fangs is not recommended. In fact, we recommend you leave the handling of anacondas to professionals like this. Because, well, even they're not good enough to keep from occasionally getting used as a chew toy. Good thing this wasn't one of the 28-foot, 500-pound behemoths that are out there.